And finally, let's do some testing. And uh, to measure the noise level, is it noisy? Is, is the sound level okay? I, I have my microphone just here, this wireless microphone, so it's picking up my voice at a clo uh, quite close distance. Um, and I wanna show you, uh, for instance, if I pour some coffee here, you can hear this noise, put on the lid, you can hear all of this uh, noise level I'm uh, at right now, and then I'm gonna turn on the machine while I'm continuous uh, uh, talking. So one, two, three, and the machine has started. I'm now still continuously talking on the same uh, level. And I'm gonna stop it, and uh, my voice is still uh, at the same level. I would say the noise is um, uh, too livid. I don't need like this uh, uh, hearing protection, I feel. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's try. I have a one millimeter steel uh, here, uh, 1.2, I think. So let's try to drill here. I also set the laser. Uh, I haven't uh, done any marking except for the laser. Let's see if the preset of the laser is uh, accurate. It's not really that important because you can adjust the laser. It's two laser beams that you can adjust and make it hit the center of the drill bit. So let's check how this goes. So I should mention that the travel distance is uh, nine centimeters, approximately three inches. So bear that in mind, even though it says it has 31 centimeters of uh, travel or height, that is uh, when you're lowering the table stand. And you have also some adjustments uh, over here. So you can uh, like uh, uh, release a lever and you can flip this around and to limit the travel to a lower. So if you know the end point of, uh, of your uh, drilling, then you can set this to limit so you don't go too far. Okay, so let's test this. The drilling, how my drill bit isn't uh, quite 100%. This is wobbling. I have now 500 RPM. I would say that was quite accurate. Let me get a bit closer here. So this is my first drilling. And uh, I would say that was uh, dead spot on. Switch over. 12 millimeter drill bit. Let me also show you, this is the lever to change the speed. The speed is displayed here. So now it says 500. And when I turn this, you will see that the speed is increasing. So for me, it seems to be some manual adjustment of the speed, some wires or some some wheels gearing inside here. And this is, uh, I think it's just a readout of the RPM. So, yeah. Let's go down to 600 RPM. And let's uh, try to do a new drilling. So, I got a six millimeters uh, drill bit here now, and steel plate is uh, two millimeters. Okay, and let me finish up this uh, testing by I think I forgot to tell you the measurements, and it didn't really say on the package either. So it is uh, 95 centimeters tall from the foot to the top. Around 
around 35 centimeters if you take include all the levers and from back to front you will need 55 centimeters 55 centimeters of total depth and my table here is 50 so a table with 50 centimeters depth is okay because uh, some of the weight is on the back back end here and the foot is actually no more than 40. I would say my final conclusion for me after just been using it some few times is that I'm uh, yeah, happy with it. I would think I will recommend it, but I need some more time to play around with it to have some more experience before I can say for sure. I have no idea about the quality, but it feels solid. It feels sturdy. It has all the features I like. It would be nice if it also could go in reverse. I don't think that's really normal for this uh, bench drills, but then uh, I could do some threading and I could just stop it and uh, like reverse it to get the, uh, the threading tool out again. I, I'm probably not, not mentioned, but when you start it, and then stop it, it stops quite constantly. It doesn't go forever before it spins out. Not sure if it's any like engine braking here, but it's like boom, stops in half a second. If I get more experience with this after a while, maybe I'll do a follow up later. I have uh, some bad news regarding the bench drill. One day when I came into the garage after a break, yeah, I need a break from time to time. I got a cup of coffee, also waited some hours and I came back to the garage and the fuses was blown. So it was uh, dark uh, in here, or actually it wasn't dark because the light uh, is on a separate fuse, but like all the outlets, power outlets was uh, not giving any power. I went around the garage, unplugged all chargers and all machines and also this uh, uh, drill bench was also plugged in but everything was turned off so it was just standing there idle and um, yeah turned on the fuse in the garage everything was fine I uh, thought it was just a random thing happening but when I later plugged this in again the electronics doesn't work anymore so um, the laser is no longer working and if I power it on, the uh, display showing the RPM not working anymore. The light is working, that is 230 volts. So it's probably a DC converter stepped down to 12 volts or something that is running the LCD panel and the laser uh, light is probably gone. So I will have to take this back to the store where I bought it. They are uh, nice guys there, so they will probably replace it or fix it for me. But anyway, a bit pity. And it started to snow. Sorry for the noise. Come back to you when, uh, with an update. Jesus. Yeah. It's uh, still winter here. Okay, so the story continues. It has been a couple of weeks now since I bought the bench drill. It uh, broke apart, as I showed you, and I returned it. Got a new one and uh, turned it on. I used it, not very much. I drilled some uh, holes. I guess I was about four hours in my garage and then I heard a pop, a bang, and it broke again. So the second one also broke. It still works, I still have it, but uh, the LED display uh, showing the RPM and the laser stopped working just as the previous one. And I took the liberty of taking it apart just to look inside and let me show you. So you can see here the electronics, this has really blown and I would suspect that this actually could be dangerous, it could catch fire. The heat here was extremely hot uh, inside of the panel housing, 
uh, it was, uh, I almost burned my fingers because uh, this is enclosed like this, it's put here, and it has no ventilation. So it gets very hot in here. And yeah, maybe this sign means that uh, this can explode, probably. So um, yeah, this is uh, no good. Okay, so will I recommend this machine? I should have a pretty good uh, knowledge about them now, having even used two of them. But I guess since two out of two has uh, broke down, one after a couple of days, the second one after four hours, nah, probably not. Unless you like hazard and uh, potentially want to burn down your garage. No, you don't really want this to happen. Okay, so what you, would you have done? You found the perfect machine, but it's broke at least some part of it. I've used it a lot and I'm really happy with it. Uh, and I can live without the laser, I can live without the RPM, but uh, it would be nice if it worked. And of course, uh, I need to, if I'm gonna keep it, I need to do something with this. Um, maybe I'll try to fix it, having a separate external AC to DC converter. Yeah, or just cut the power card trait and leave it out. Well, that's the final verdict. Don't buy it.